worst of Hurricane Lorenzo has now cleared the Azores, with tropical storm force winds expected to end in the next hour or two. A Category 1 hurricane with winds of 85 miles per hour and a pressure estimate of 962 millibars expected to turn post-tropical any time now. The CDPS is looking at Killy Beggs in Western Ireland on October the 4th, still, believe it or not, as Stage 6 on the CDPS for that area even though the storm will be post-tropical. Owing to its massive wind field and possibly still hurricane force winds by then. Here is the current wind field extending to 340 miles in the southeastern quadrant, 43.2 north, 27 degrees west at 2 p.m. October 2nd. It's 940 miles from La Coruña in northern west, northwestern Spain, 1069 from Cork, 1086 from Limerick, 1098 from Galway and 1197 from the capital of Ireland, Dublin. The storm is likely to affect that region particularly in the next few days. Gale advisories now in effect, status orange for the western and southwestern parts of Ireland and yellow warnings for the rest of Ireland and what parts of Northern Ireland and southwestern England. The warnings are still in effect for the Azores for a few more hours though yet as well. Rainfall estimates are expected to be fairly low over land areas. Places offshore will get higher amounts, the pink areas denoting 3 inches of rain or higher, but you can see looking over Western Europe there, there aren't that many pink areas at all even by the end of that 7 day period which will be delivered from other po post-tropical, non-tropical cyclones. Um, generally this storm will probably deliver 1 to 2 inches across Ireland and the United Kingdom. Uh, these are the temperatures ahead of the storm. Well, that's pretty uh, not shocking there. The temperatures dropping to around 12 degrees off the coast of Ireland. And this is what we're looking at in terms of the wind field. So you can see there Thursday, still got hurricane force winds there. And possibly still on Friday, just before it makes landfall in the northern part of Ireland. And then moving through the UK, really loses its intensity very quickly as it moves through. And by the time it reaches continental Europe, there'll be hardly anything left of Lorenzo. Behind that, a few more extratropical cyclones in the fray there as well across the North Atlantic. But as far as Lorenzo's concerned, this particular storm event will be over in less than three days. This is what we're looking like in terms of the models then, uh, calling for gradual weakening uh, by this point. Uh, general consensus is that it will just about lose hurricane force winds before striking the coast of Ireland, uh, but just off the coast. Uh, it, we still have hurricane force winds. Wind shear is going to be very high, sea surface temperature dropping like a stone, relative humidity uh, irrelevant at this point. You can see the forecast tracks there, the forecast there, um, generally taking it through the northern part of Ireland. These are the latest images of Lorenzo today. You can see it's passed through the Azores from what we're hearing on the ground. Uh, the impacts have been um, minor perhaps or at least mitigated the storm has not been as bad as what was anticipated mainly because the storm did weaken a little bit more before it struck the western islands of the Azores indeed you know during uh, Lorenzo's peaking phase we were talking potentially for category 3 winds on the Azores thankfully that didn't occur and category 1 conditions were in fact recorded um, also, interesting feature there off the main islands, the clouds dragging over there on the main Azores. That's an interesting feature there. It's really not looking very tropical at all at this point. It's really let itself go in the last 12 hours. And I think at the next National Hurricane Center update, it will turn post-tropical. We'll have further updates on the main channel and on Force 13 UK and Ireland. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.